Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about iZombie or revisiting iZombie because the last time I took a look at it, it was like a pretty incomplete, a very incomplete impression of the overall series because I had only taken a look at the first volume and, uh, and I probably sh shouldn't have because like, um, well uh, even then I still liked it so whatever. But today I'm going to take a look at the rest of it with You Vampire, Six Feet Under and Rising, and Repossession. And all I can say is, wow, this series goes crazy off the rails. You know, I mean, like, if the uh, TV show that was inspired by this goes even half as crazy as this show, I mean, as this comic book series has become, then... At that is this is going to be one hell of an awesome series <clears throat> at the very least definitely going to last more than one season like because yeah because like I, like I hope it lasts more than definitely because I think the first season is going to be like around Blaine and stuff but if it does I, I get the feeling it's going to start uh, going to revolve more around more crazy stuff like from the comic maybe what, what may, might see more different creatures, you know, and, um, but I'm getting backed off to this, you know, you vampire, <clears throat> great, you know, we get, you know, uh, Scott, aka Spot's origin story, so to speak, you know, we get, um, or his backsto backstory, and we are introduced, and we get more stuff with the vampires doing their stuff, and we have the... <clears throat> We're introduced to a new character named Galatia, and we're seeing like what kind of we're wondering like what's she gonna be doing here, and um, <clears throat> yeah, and we eventually do see that in Six Feet Under and Rising, you know, and uh, we're also introduced to this new faction called the Dead Presidents, although the de there's disappointedly only one Dead President, so false advertising dude not cool um, apparently he was founded by Abraham Lincoln and uh, he's like came a zombie then he and he's like a like a, a zombified James Bond I guess you could say except you know he's Abraham Lincoln and that's cool that's awesome and you know eventually he expanded his him from his organization from just himself to like a whole bunch of these other supernatural beings and um, oh and we see all this stuff with the glacia sort of come to a head with this giant zombie uprising and we have and we see this huge three-way brawl between the zombies and the fosters corporation and the dead presidents and it's super cool and crazy and awesome and stuff and um, yeah, and then with repossession, they go even further off the rails. Yeah, really, with the um, with essentially uh, an interdimensional war, kind of, or or an interdimensional battle with uh, just various Lovecraftian horror monsters from another dimension, and it's awesome, you know. And uh, and eventually even climaxing with the this giant Lovecraftian space monster named Xitalu. Gee, I wonder who that's a reference to. Anyway, um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, there, there's some. Um, I thought it was like, and you know, again, if the sh if the show gets even like half as crazy or heck, even a quarter as crazy, then holy crap th this show is going to be freaking amazing and just like, like the comic books um <clears throat> the um, if i ever had to put like a sort of downside like it would be like in the ending you know i mean like it kind of feels like they sort of written themselves into a corner i mean like they have this giant lovecraftian god and how they take him out is um very, in my opinion, underwhelming. Uh, without putting too much into spoilers, I would think that, you know, the soul of a giant interdimensional space monster that 
devours entire planets would be a little harder to take out than, you know, a regular ass, regular soul would. <clears throat> but even so, I thought it was just fantastic, you know. Like, I liked how all of the supernatural stuff worked. You know, I liked how everything just worked, period, you know. Again, crazy, cool, cuckoo, awesome. I give this my personal comfort level recommendation rating of a 5 out of 5. Yes, I definitely recommend this. Definitely great. Definitely has great artwork, even though I thought it was kind of jarring how they would switch art time from time in the other, in uh, repossession. But again, it's just a fantastic book. Definitely check it out. Definitely you should read it. Definite recommendation. <clears throat> anyway, um, <clears throat> next time I'm going to be taking a look at The Final Frontier, or at least a Red Conda Way variation of it, with Star Trek, the Mirror Universe Saga. Until then, see you later. Keep yourself awesome. else I can seem to think of and if you have a recommendation on something to read then please put one in the comment section below where myself and other viewers can you know see it and, and, uh, and have a nice day.